All right, here we go. Question number two from our Calculus One homework number one. In WebAssign, this is going to be very similar to question number one. Here we're given a table of values. A student bought a smartwatch that tracks the number of steps she walks throughout the day. The table shows the number of steps recorded T minutes after 3 p.m. on the first day she wore the watch. So that's important to note that the values of T are the number of minutes after 3 p.m. Part A, find the slopes of the secant lines corresponding to the given intervals of t. We're going to use the slope formula first to find the slope on the interval from 0 to 40. So the first ordered pair we need here is when time is 0. That corresponds to 0, 3,288. And the second ordered pair would correspond to when time is 40. So if we look in our table, we see that when time is 40, the number of steps were 7,168. Now, it doesn't matter which one of these ordered pairs is x1, y1. So I'm going to designate the first one I wrote down as x1, y1. And then this will be the second ordered pair, x2, y2. Doing a little plug and play, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. This calculation will give us the slope of our secant line on the interval from 0 to 40. Again, I like to use my Casio just to make sure I don't make a simple mistake. 7,168 minus 3,288 all over. 40 minus 0 is just 40. I can just input 40. And we get a whole number, 97. That is the slope of that secant line. I think it's important to throw in what that actually represents. That's the average number of steps she took per minute from 0 to 40. And then for the second interval, from 10 to 20, the process just repeats. So. When time is 10, number of steps were 4,409, and then 20 was 5,772, and again, it doesn't matter which one is x1, y1, so again, we're going to designate this ordered pair as the second one. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And again, plugging this into the calculator, just to make sure I don't make a simple mistake, we're going to get as a decimal 136.3. And one more time. Now this next interval is from 20 to 30. I've already written down the ordered pair for 20. So I'm just going to write down the ordered pair for when time is 30. And that is 36,586. And again, remember I said it doesn't matter which one is x1, y1. So I'm going to leave the first ordered pair the way I have it. And then this is going to be minus 6,586, 20 minus 30. And editing, what you input on the Casio is super easy. You can just delete your values, and insert your new ones. And as a decimal, 81.4. Next, for part B, they want us to estimate the student's walking pace in steps per minute at 3.20 p.m. by averaging the slopes of two secant lines from part A. Now, we have to decide which two need to be averaged in order to get the estimate of their walking pace at 320. So what we would want is we would want the ordered pairs that go from 10 to 20. That'll give us the slope of the secant line. That'll give us the rate in steps per minute immediately before 320. And then we also want to average the ordered pairs from 20 to 30. 
that would give us the rate immediately after 320. So this secant line slope and this secant line slope are the slopes immediately before 320 and immediately after 320. Averaging those should give us a good estimate of their pace at 320. Now to calculate their average pace, to calculate the average of any two values, you add them up and divide by two. So here our average for these two intervals is going to be 136.3 plus 81.4 divided by 2. And again, using the calculator just to make sure, 136.3 plus 81.4 divided by 2, finding the average value, and then they want us to round to the nearest integer. So in that case, that would be 109 steps per minute. That is our average value for their pace. And if we click enter to check, we can see that we have green checks across the board. And that's going to do it for this particular problem. So if you have any questions or comments about anything covered in this video, please feel free to leave those in the comment section below. Or you can text me. And thanks for watching.